All right, job done. 10 by K, 7,000 feet, Flagstaff, Arizona. It's freezing cold. I had to run way slower than I'd like to to keep the lactate down, to keep it at threshold. But if you hang around and you watch today's video, just let me get my breath. If you hang around and you watch today's video, you'll learn about warm ups, some stuff about threshold, how to humble yourself to keep that lactate down. And yeah, hopefully you gain some insight into how to be better. I'm an Olympic marathon runner, I ran 209. My fitness is miles away from that right now, but I was very disciplined today. And so, pat on the back. I hope you enjoyed today's video. All right, so it's Monday. Today is just a very easy threshold day. Easy threshold means keeping that lactate really low. What I'm gonna go through today is a bit of a warm up. We're gonna do a 4K warm up. Then we're gonna do some drills, some strides, open the body up, activate the muscles, and I can show you some of that routine. And then we're gonna get stuck into some very, very simple 1K reps. This is foundation work. It builds this solid layer of fitness, which almost acts as a support mechanism before you start doing some of the really hard stuff. But we're gonna go get this warm up done, and then you can check out the activation routine, the warm up stuff, some of the drills, and then follow along the session. And then at the end, I can give you some tips on how perhaps you might wanna structure your warm up, structure the session to get the most out of it, how to hold yourself back, and you can copy some of those running drills. Hopefully you take some of this advice into your next session and some of your sessions might start going better, which is gonna to lead to better results. But let's go warm up. Then there's no excuses this week. So that's why today, to run 3.30 for a K, which makes me so sad, knowing Ray's face is like 3.04, it should be perfect. And this is the fun thing about running. The slower, you can run, but get the most benefit should be your goal. Not, I wanna run as quickly as possible. That's nonsense. Why would you wanna go in a store and pay the most possible for the TV that you want? You want to pay the least possible. So if you can run at a slow pace and get the biggest fitness benefit, but it takes the absolute least amount out of your body, that should be what you want. So yeah, today will be very fun, but I think over the next four or five weeks, we'll just see a natural progression. I'll be checking those lactates, checking the heart rates, and this 3.30 will probably slowly come down, perhaps a 3.20, 3.15. And remember, look at these mountains. We're at 7,000 feet of altitude, and it ain't easy. There's no easy days up here. The session is 10 by K, and the recovery will be roughly 45 seconds, unless I'm taking a lactate, which means sometimes it can be a minute. Lactate at number four or five, and then number eight, and then also just heart rate. I know to keep the lactate under two, I need to keep the heart rate under about 160. And so that's why I have the chest strap on today to get a more accurate heart rate, which is really important. And then hopefully over the next few weeks, the speed of this session will increase. And I'll use the same 1K strip. And that kind of, if you're training at home, sometimes it's good to be boring use the exact same place you train so that you can track, has your fitness improved? If not, why not? Etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. The plan for the next month is actually, the running training is actually not the top priority. And the top priority is actually rebuilding the body. And so physically, my body's a little bit out of shape, weight, so I'm gonna to have to really dial in the nutrition. Um, also, in terms of how my body's moving, 
a lot of stiffness around the back, stiffness around the hips. So I'm gonna do a lot of yoga and actually a lot of work in the gym to rebuild the body, almost in a way that if I rebuild the body from a physical perspective, I'll then in four weeks time be able to start doing the training that's gonna build the fitness that I need perhaps to start running some races. And so if you're at home and you're watching, start thinking that way. Start thinking about how do I almost train to be able to train? There's a full week of training that ideally I'd love to be doing, but I can't do that right now. Physically, I'm not there. I get injured. Psychologically, I'm not there. I haven't pushed myself in a while. I haven't trained consistently for a while. And so this next month is just laying a foundation, getting the body going again, getting it moving better, lots of yoga, lots of rehab gym, just to get to a place that I'm able to do the training, that's gonna build the fitness, to start racing again, and get into a routine that's gonna get me to a place that I can pencil in that next marathon and run to it. All right, so I feel this is the perfect moment. See all this snow? It's cold. It's very cold. And so getting warmed up is super, super important. And so a lot of people, I'm not really sure what you do for a warm up. Maybe you don't know. But what we're doing today is we do some easy running, first and foremost. Before I left the house, I took my body through a little, what I call like a body check. I check in with the body where it's at. Are my legs sore? Is my back stiff? And it's just a little, it's just a little check that says, hey, where are you at? How have you been handling training? Have I been pushing too hard? And so it starts with that little body check in the house. Then I move into some very light stretching and then what I call an activation routine. The activation routine is prepping the muscles before you even leave the house. So most people leave the house, they've done nothing. Noble, what did you do before we started running today? He's lying. What? No, he did, Noble switched on. What most people do is they leave the house, they don't even give their body a chance. You're out the door, your muscles are maybe tired, maybe stiff, maybe not switched on. And that's when the injury risk goes up hugely. But if you wanna check out a full activation routine, go to joggingroom.com. There's a free preview. It's a full activation routine, five to 10 minutes. Start doing it before you leave the house. And it just gives your body a chance. If you don't switch the muscles on, they're not firing. Five, 10 minutes you get them firing, you're gonna feel better, the muscles are gonna work better, and you're gonna reduce that injury risk a lot. Discipline at 7,000 feet <laughs> when you're not very fit. Oh, it's really fucking annoying. Little incline, headwind, not very fit. Heart rate just goes off. That makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> one way one way's a lot easier than the other, but when your fitness isn't stable you've missed training, all it takes is a little incline, a little bit of a headwind, and that heart rate just goes up. But if you think about it, you're here to work at an effort and not a pace. When it gets closer to races, then you start dialing in pace, 
Right now, it's just effort. So the only thing stopping you from executing the session properly is your fucking head. Slow down, bring the heart rate back down, drop the fucking ego, who cares? Get the work done the right way. Yeah, like this way is easy. <laughs> that way, like, this is where like, I don't get upset, but I get annoyed at myself for missing like three months of training. <laughs> Cause like, I used to have much better control of heart rate, lactate, even if it was windy, even if it was uphill. But right now, I, God, I'm soft. <laughs> All right, what's your guess, Noble? 2.1? Uh, I'm gonna go 2.3. 2.3? We'll see. I'm gonna go... Maybe I'm projecting. 2.1. Let's see what the countdown is. This stuff, right? <laughs> I have to run a 337k to keep the lactate down. That's why on race day, when you have to make that decision to f commit and grind and hustle, all these good decisions in the build up, not only do they build the foundation, the strength, and the fitness that you need to get that big result, that discipline builds that callous mind that on race day means you don't give up. And I'm so proud of that 209 because I know how hard it was and I really had to earn that result versus the 6108 that was almost easy. Yeah, so that wasn't bad. I mean, it was super humbling, but I, I don't mind. I, I've earned almost like poor fitness and it's not poor fitness. I'm so sorry to keep saying that. But if you've got to run 42K at 304 <laughs> and you're having to run 335 or it's, it's poor for where it needs to be. But what's really important is I earned that. I've always talked about it. Just like you earn good fitness, you earn less good fitness, you could call it. And so what I love about where my headspace is at right now is I don't mind just going a bit slower. I'm on YouTube, I'm seeing people break four minutes for the mile at altitude. I'm seeing all kinds of records broken indoors this past weekend. And I'm seeing 1240 something for 5Ks, 202 for marathons. And here I am trying to train for an Olympics and having to run <laughs> over 30 seconds per K slower, but I've earned it. I enjoyed a bit of time away. I got my head in a much better place and I'm ready to just tick the weeks off. As each week goes by, my body's gonna get a bit fitter, but that's all good. I'm allowing that process to happen and not force it. So many times in my career, I didn't accept the fitness and I would have forced a day like today. And then it's not, sure I could have ran 320 odds, but I wouldn't have kept the effort and the heart rate where it needed to be. So in two weeks time, if I'm a bit faster, I've earned it. And so if I run 325 today, instead of 335, there'll be no joy in two weeks time when it's real. That's real fitness. Anybody can force speed. Anybody can run too hard to hit a pace. When you build the fitness right, you can glide along at the right heart rate, the right lactate, and the right pace that's gonna get you the result that you want and it's real fitness, you're not forcing it. So be patient, tick boxes, run at the right effort, don't always focus on pace, and that fitness will grow organically. It's humbling, believe me, it sucked. I almost got a bit negative today. I don't want to run 30 odd seconds per K slower than eventual race pace. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Just like you're in good fitness, you earn not as good fitness. Enjoy your running, don't beat yourself up. Try to have fun with it and take care. And thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, show me some love. Check out that recent video. I'm talking a lot of lactate. I'm gonna talk about lactate 
for the next year and a half, go check out that video. Everything I know about Threshold, you'll enjoy it. It's a long one, but trust me, go watch it. If you get a chance, check out joggingroom.com. We talked about the warm up, the activation routine, cut down on injuries, go check it out and take care.